Hello, my name is Ewald and I am a trainer and assessor here at Education Institute. What we do here is the OTT course and I started my official training as an, as an operating theatre technician back in 1985 where I was a PSA on the wards. A job opportunity came available at St George's Hospital where I was doing my training in the operating theatre and so I accepted the position and it went on from then on. It took me to further bounds as in relation towards going to different hospitals where I was able to get more experience, which then enabled me then to do the Cert 3 as an operating theatre technician. Back then, Mayfield Education Institute was the only one that was available, which I then followed by two years of experience with anaesthetics, because that's how we were trained back then. Here at Education Institute, we are the only facility to date to be able to have set up an actual operating theatre setup. It is a mock setup. It contains a, it has an operating theatre table. It has positioning aids, gel mattresses, diathermia machines, and yellow fins, which is all medical terminology, which entitles all equipment as for what an OTT needs. It is a standard operating room setup. This is for what we can simulate practical hands-on through the course and that will also get your hands-on as in relation towards the skills you need to operate the operating theatre tables. How the course here is structured at Education Institute with OTT is, is that it's the fundamental steps in order for them to get the acquired knowledge they need not only for medical terminology or for uh, chemistry or things like this, but also to the point of duty of care, state of awareness, privacy, dignity and confidentiality, which is all a fundamental aspects of being a good operating theatre technician. There is lots of theory, there is practical hands-on in a simulated lab that will be downstairs as an operating theatre room. They will be able to position themselves in a manner where as a mock-up emergency setups for patients, and also what is exactly required of them inside the operating theatre room. The assessments as for what they have will be on theory based and is also assessed here. During the course, there is also a two week placement that is held throughout the CBD. 80% of the hospitals in the CBD all have um, facilities as in relation towards theatre tech students, public hospitals and also private hospitals. The two week placement is based on 80 hours the hours are actually set by the facility and the theatre technicians there that go on placement are mentored by senior operating theatre technicians that have been there for quite some time. They are all theatre tech managers and have done the cert for. If it is not a cert for theatre technician, then the education um, liaison person will be, will be facilitating that event. During that, they will be witnessing hand hygiene, infection control, aseptic technique, and duty of care and state of awareness, which are all fundamental aspects of placement. They will also get to see procedures, what is actually involved, how to set up for the procedures, how to be proactive, and how to apply that into their new role. This will then be assessed, and they will also have a work placement book. This placement book they will need to fill out with all added bits and pieces of information and equipment they will need to highlight that they know and they completely understand what each of these equipments are. Before they go into placement, they actually have a theatre tech manager come out and speak to them what is actually expected of them on placement. They are able to liaise with this person, ask questions, brainstorm, and get the encouragement and the skills they need for their future.